A fossil of one of the last dinosaurs living in Africa before the extinction 66 million years ago has been discovered in a phosphate mine in northern Morocco. A study of the jawbone led by the Milner Center for Evolution at the University of Bath in the United Kingdom suggests Africa had its own distinct dinosaur fauna until the asteroid strike that wiped them out. It comes from a really interesting time period, around 66 to 67 million years ago. This is just before the asteroid impact that wiped out the dinosaurs. And we have a pretty good picture of the dinosaurs from North America for this time period. For example, Triceratops and T-Rex are part of the, this fauna, uh, this sort of twilight fauna, the last dinosaurs on Earth. But we don't have a good picture of what's going on in the rest of the world. And we know almost nothing about the African dinosaurs from this time period. So it's the first uh, named dinosaur from the end of the Cretaceous period in Africa, in fact. Longridge, named the smaller contemporary of the North American T-Rex, Chenanisaurus barbaricus, after the phosphate mines in Morocco's Uled Abdun Basin, where it was found. The teeth hinted at a dinosaur like this, and the jawbone really kind of clenched it that this was one of these abelosaurs. They're a very specialized group of dinosaurs. They're similar to a T-Rex. They're, they're two-legged predators, but they're different. They have a much shorter, blunter snout. The arms are actually shorter than those of a T-Rex. And whereas T-Rex is very bird-like and would have been feathered, these things were scaly. And T-Rex wasn't particularly intelligent, but this thing was like had a smaller brain than even a T-Rex did. So it's a, in many ways a much more primitive dinosaur. Longridge said the new dinosaur fills in gaps in our knowledge of the period and helps confirm the theory of mass extinction caused by an asteroid strike 66 million years ago. So 